It is unknown where exactly the lime fruit originated from, but it is thought to have come from Indonesia or Southeast Asia before it was brought to Africa and the Mediterranean around a thousand years ago. However, the real extent of its medical benefits was only discovered in the last several centuries when it was administered to cure scurvy. Scurvy is a disease caused by a lack of vitamin C and it can produce symptoms such as bleeding gums, bruises, and exhaustion. By the 18th century, scurvy had grown into a serious worry for British sailors and it was a leading cause of mortality for them. One scientist, James Lind, began performing tests on board a naval ship in 1747 and realized that drinking lemon and lime juice could help prevent scurvy due to the high concentration of vitamin C in the juice. Lemon juice is touted as a healthy beverage that may have disease-fighting capabilities according to some. As a result of its alleged alkalizing effects, it is particularly popular among individuals who practice complementary and alternative medicine. Why some people think lemon juice to be alkalizing despite the fact that it has an acidic pH is discussed in this video as well as what this means for your overall health and wellness. When talking about acidic and alkaline foods, it is important to know about the pH. pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution on a scale of 0 to 14. Neutrality is defined as a pH level of 7. It is termed acidic if the pH is below 7 and it is termed alkaline if it's above 7. The pH of a food before it is digested has very little bearing on whether it is acidic or alkaline in the body. Rather, when your body produces acidic or alkaline byproducts as a result of digesting and metabolizing food is the determining factor. When determining the form of byproduct a food will create, the ash analysis approach can be used to make predictions. Food is burned in a laboratory to simulate digestion in this procedure. The pH of their ash is used to categorize the foods as acidic or alkaline. Because of ash analysis, foods are sometimes said to create acidic or alkaline ash. However, because ash analysis is an imprecise estimate, scientists have developed a new formula that classifies meals according to their potential renal acid load or PRAL for short. The amount of acid that is expected to reach the kidneys after the body metabolizes a certain food is known as the PRAL of that food. Normally, the kidneys maintain a steady pH in the blood by excreting excess acid or alkali through urine. Protein, phosphorus and sulfur are acidic substances that increase the quantity of acid the kidneys must filter out. As a result, meats and grains, which are high in these nutrients, receive a positive PRAL score. Fruits and vegetables, on the other hand, are high in alkaline nutrients like potassium, calcium and magnesium. As a result, they have a negative PRAL score because they reduce the quantity of acid that the kidneys must filter out. Lemon juice, like other fruits, creates alkaline byproducts when digested. As a result, it has a negative PRAL score. This is why, despite having an acidic pH before digestion, some people regard lemon juice to be alkaline. Numerous alkaline diet advocates use pH test strips to determine the alkalinity of their urine. They believe this enables them to identify the true alkaline state of their bodies. What they do not understand is that while lemon juice may increase the alkalinity of your urine, it has no influence on the pH of your blood. Foods have such a small effect on the pH of your blood because your body requires a pH range of 7.35 to 7.45 for normal cell function. If your blood pH reading falls outside of this range, you are in a condition known as metabolic acidosis or alkalosis, which can be serious or even fatal if left untreated. This occurs infrequently as your body is extremely skillful at preventing your blood pH readings from dropping outside the typical range. 
One way it maintains a steady level is by utilizing your kidneys to filter out excess acids via your urine. This is why your urine may become acidic a few hours after consuming a huge steak or less acidic after consuming an alkalizing diet. While the acidity of your urine varies according to the meals you consume, the pH of your blood remains constant. Therefore, even if consuming lemon juice resulted in more alkaline urine, it is unlikely to have an influence on your blood's pH. According to one early research, you'd need to consume the equivalent of 18 pounds of oranges in one sitting in order to raise your blood pH by only 0.2. If you like the content of this video, I ask that you subscribe to my channel, share the content with others, and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos whenever I create them. I hope this was informative enough. If you have any suggestions or things to add, comment down below and share it with us. Your input is always welcome. So until then, See you in the next video.